How's it going out there? Slowly. Good evening and welcome to North Tonight. Today marks the 15th anniversary of the disappearance of Shane Whittam. Shane went missing from the market town of Skipton in 1997. He was just 18 months old. Thousands of hours of police work have gone into the investigation of Shane's disappearance, but with no direct witnesses or a DNA sample which can be linked to a suspect, the future remains uncertain. Earlier this morning, police released composite images of Shane as he would look today, aged 17. Police hope this image will help develop new leads, giving hope to a case which has so far been up. Get to bed. Comfort. They'll never be. Joel. Joel, look at me. What's the matter? Don't tell me about the time you brought me home. Well, when you were born, you were only six pounds. You're a tiny little thing, completely bald. Me and your dad brought you home. We couldn't be happier. After everything the doctors had told us, you were our little miracle. But when we got you here to the farm, you won't stop crying. Fed you, burped you, but nothing, constant crying. And then one night, your dad, he picked you up, carried you over to the barn. And the minute the door opened and you heard the lambs bleating, he stopped crying. Complete silence. Where are my pure thoughts? Joe, are you okay? Yeah, where are they? We lost them in the floods. What's this all about? Joe. Joe, get in here a minute. Give me hand here, she's struggling. <coughs> the arm's in a funny position. Just stroke her, calm her. I'll try and free it up. 
You were having a bad dream. Go back to sleep. She a runner? She will be. Aye. Well, I believe it when I see it. Do you remember the adoption pens? I don't see much of them anymore, but we had quite a few. Used them as and when we needed them. Your father once took a lamb from one of the swale dales on the top. Tried to pair it with a ewe down here. We left him in the pen with her for three days, but... He wouldn't accept her. Most take milk in the end, but somehow he knew he didn't belong. What happened? He died. I think I'll get out now.
Listen to me. I don't know you want to do something, <laughs> but you're very confused. <laughs> me and your mother are very confused. Get off me. No, until you calm down. <laughs> you liar. Look at me. Look at me. <laughs> what are you talking about? Shane Wim. Tell me the truth. Joe. Tell me the truth. <coughs> when we brought you home, all you did was cry, morning and night. We didn't know how to make you stop. Me and your mum, we were, we were really worried. And then one night, I took you. I just, I just carried you into the bar. And you stopped. You stopped, Joe. I just held you amongst those lamps and you stopped crying. This is where you belong. We love you so much. Come home. Is waiting for you inside. You look tired. Tired and ill. Sit down. Father told me about the lamb. I know what happened. Don't think it doesn't pain me, because it does. It's hard. It always has been. But we do what we can and we get by. We're having a good season, Joe. <sighs> they haven't always been easy, but. I'm in strong health, and if you continue to help your dad like you have been, then we're set to have the best season this family has seen in years. I don't mind telling you that. Do you understand? Go and get yourself a bath. Your dad can cope alone for the day. And Joe? Don't you ever run away again. <laughs> 